and in particular to say thank you for the contribution which I received from Australians in my own centre, Southeast Asia. I had many ships of the Royal Australian Navy and no less than 2,000 of the Royal Australian Air Force fighting in my centre. I look forward particularly to meeting some of the many thousands of Australian men and women whom we found in the hands of the Japanese in September last year. And I look forward also to meeting the women of Australia who have supported us in such a wonderful way. The whole parts of the British Empire worked so wonderfully together in war. I only hope we should be able to pull as well together in peace. But I'm quite certain that that is, would be the greatest single factor to contribute towards the prosperity and future peace of the world. It's just a hop, step and a jump from Singapore to Canberra. And in a flight of only 20 hours, this four-engine York transport plane, bearing the insignia of the Supreme Allied Command, Southeast Asia, brings to Australia's capital two distinguished visitors, Lord and Lady Louis Mountbatten. The Vice President of the Executive Council, Senator Collings, welcomes them to Canberra. Decisions were made in this historic building. Great decisions, too, were made by this man. Australians who served under Lord Louis have voted him a good bloke. On the day after their arrival, Lord Louis drives to Parliament House for a private session with members of the Commonwealth Cabinet.